Hello. So the opinion question this week is, in your opinion, did the Missouri Compromise lead to the growing factor of sectionalism? Now, understand that the United States before 1820, that we're seeing a larger number of population growth due to immigration, mostly, uh, in the northern states. And uh, that was problematic to southern states in the way for congressional representatives. As we're starting to see uh, that states are entering the Union as either free states or slave states. Um, so where it becomes problematic is when Missouri is going to enter the Union and is asking to enter the Union as a slave state. And the importance of this is it upsets the balance of power in the United States Senate because there's always been 11 free and 11 slave states. Now, with another slave state, that's going to tip the balance of power towards the southern slave states. And so the northern free states are concerned about this, and they're trying to figure out what kind of compromises are going to come about. So this is the whole purpose. Did the Missouri Compromise create sectionalism? Because now all of a sudden slavery is on the forefront, uh, on the political agenda. And so here comes Henry Clay, the great compromiser, who moves in and uh, uh, after the Talmadge Amendment, just that wasn't going to uh, uh, wash, says, well, why don't we do this? Um, Missouri comes in as a slave state, and Maine, let them enter as a free state. That means we keep that balance of power in the Senate. It's going to be 12 and 12, and very importantly, that a line will draw through the Louisiana Territory at 36 degrees, 30 minutes. So anything north of that, it'll be free states, and anything south of that will be slave states. So in one instance, yes, it uh, probably could create um, the factor of sectionalism where we're starting to divide the country between free uh, and slave as well. So that's what you have to answer. Uh, and as before, if you can submit it to the assignment before uh, 4 p.m. on a Thursday, I'll critique it and tell you how you need to improve. And make sure you use the textbook and make sure you also use one of the lectures or the new Colossus. All right. I look forward to seeing your discussion this week.